This week I pray that you are free and unafraid. In John 8, verse 32, it says, You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Well, what is the truth? The truth is, no matter what religion you are, no matter what church you go to, the truth is this, God is with you. The truth is this, God created you. The truth is this, you can never be anywhere where God is not. That God can be called upon and God will respond and help. I pray that you know this truth and that it makes you free. Free from what? Free from human worry. Free from those things that we feel so bound to. And if it seems in your life like you're bound to conditions that frustrate, that limit you, you can be free, and you are free as you know the absolute truth in your life that there is a spirit within you that gives you the power to overcome any obstacle to change the direction of your life, to embark on positive and happy ways. Do you long freedom from ill health? Well, you can be free. You are free as you know the truth that God is your health and your strength and that God's life in you is ever-renewing ageless, and eternal. Do you ever, in your daily life, entertain feelings of unhappiness? And when I say entertain, whenever we host thoughts in our mind, we either cast them out or we entertain them. And often we entertain guests that are unwanted, tenants that should be evicted from the apartment house of our mind. Sometimes we entertain thoughts of self-doubt, don't we? Or even unworthiness. You can be free from such feelings, my friend, and you are free as you know that such feelings are an indication of something in you that knows that you're meant to be more, knows that you are meant to express more. See, God has created you for greatness. And always, God's Spirit in you is urging you to dare to express the greatness that is within you, to express your true created self. I pray today that you're free and that you feel unlimited, that you feel God with you, coming through you, as you, that you realize that you're not bound anymore to conditions. I pray that God touches you now with this awareness. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.